Hi everyone! Did you notice that Zoom behaved differently this weekend? Yes! <laughs> Who had that happen? Where it was like password was required when previously it wasn't, or now everyone's going into this holding room and you're having to like accept each member individually. Did this happen to you? So we're going to talk about what happened this weekend on Zoom that maybe made your class more difficult and how to bypass that. So yes, stick around. For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Jessica. I am your online coach. I have been teaching dance for about 20 years. I'm obsessed with Zumba and I'm here to help you rock your classes, which includes how to handle Zoom, which is a new platform that we're all getting familiarized with. Uh, so I do have a couple of shout outs, shout outs. First of all, shout out to John Grekilovic. I hope I said that right. <laughs> who just joined the Rock Your Facebook course. Yes, because she wants to know more about how to market her classes, how to attract her students to her where when everyone's on Facebook already, right? So she's a smart lady and she's gaining some skills to attract more students while everyone is on Facebook right now and learning how to use that tool. I also have a whole bunch of uh, shout outs from people from the stage. Hey, the stage, uh, which is a Facebook group dedicated for you, for instructors on giving you more tools on how to grow your classes, how to promote your classes. And right now the whole month is dedicated to Zoom. There's a checklist that you can print out. Uh, there's troubleshootings. There's videos step by step the whole month. There's even going to be a challenge at the end of the month. So if you want to log on to the stage, uh, come over to this group and just click the link above. I do have some new crew members. So shout out to Sophie Beckard, Shandy Pawaya, Adizon Vaughn, Michelle Dene, Julie Crawford Th Thomas, Betsy Martharu, uh, Jan, Jan, uh, Joanne Gregilovich, Lisa Clem, Sarah McGrail, and Mimi Farley. So welcome to the stage, ladies. I hope you are enjoying it. Um, uh, yeah, so, okay. So what went on this weekend? Zoom, it's growing. Zoom is growing in capability and it has some security issues. So what used to be an option is now a requirement, not a requirement, a default on when you schedule a meeting and uh, how the meetings were set up. Two major things. One was it required a password. And this is even if you set up your meeting before this update, it still, it just, it was like a blanket to everyone. Any meeting period in Zoom was now requiring a password, whether you had that meeting scheduled before or whether you were creating a new meeting uh, during this weekend. And uh, so a lot of us, I had scheduled my meetings before and it didn't require a password and all of a sudden I'm scrambling to like, oh my God, now I need to add a password and I, now I need to distribute my password as well. So that was complicated this weekend. Another thing, another thing that happened by default, which used to be an option, was the holding room. Right. It used to be only you could check it or not check it if you wanted a holding room. And now it defaulted to that. So everyone who had who had a meeting scheduled or who scheduled a meeting this weekend, your participants now went into a holding room, which means that they're waiting there for you to accept them and to let them into your meeting, which also means that if they're late, you started your dance, right? You started your class and they came in late they're not joining the meeting. They're in that holding room area, that virtual holding room, kind of like a lobby. And they're waiting for them, for you to accept them into the party. Uh, so you may have noticed this happen. If it did, like say me, <laughs> give me a cry emoji. <laughs> give me a cry emoji down below. Uh, so today I want to talk about how to bypass those because it's what's happening is that Zoom wants more security on your uh, meetings. And while these are great, and if you like these security measures, keep them. But if you don't like them or you found them to be more of a hassle for your participants, then remove them, right? This is your class and it's up to you uh, to where you feel comfortable with the software, with your participants and with everything that you have available. Uh, so if you like those changes, keep them. That's awesome. If you want to remove them, that's what I'm going to show you right now, how to bypass that um, in case you want that for your classes. So we're going to go to Zoom. Hello, Zoom. And we're going to go over here to the left. Now, keep in mind, I do have the paid version of Zoom, so I don't know if you have the free version, if this looks similar or if you have maybe less things that you can click, 
I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not a zoo te a Zoom a tech person. I'm learning this just like you. Uh, just what I learned, I immediately tell it to you because we all want this information now. Uh, so you go to the left where it says room. Um, so you go to the left where it says account management and you click on that. Then you're going to scroll down to account settings. Click on that. Here, there are several options that you can click. Uh, so go through, read through them carefully. I'm just going to point out the ones that are relevant for this tutorial right now. Uh, so as we scroll down, so here, require a password when scheduling a new meeting. Click it off. It's going to prompt you. This setting will be off for all groups and users. Settings that had previously changed for groups or users will be kept as is. So this just means that going forward, your meetings are not going to require a password, but for the meetings that you had already established, it's still going to have that password. So you're going to have to go manually to the meeting and edit that, which I'll show you uh, in a second too. Require a password for instant meetings. This is in case you want to host a meeting, but you didn't schedule it, right? It's just like right now, let's hop on a meeting right now. And we say, join the meeting, host, and boom, there's a meeting. There wasn't like a schedule thing. Um, if you don't want a password for those, also click this one. Same message, that's fine. Require a password for personal meetings IDs. Uh, this is when either you want to create a scheduled meeting with an, a unique ID or with your personal ID if you want a password for that. I'm going to click it off just so that we take off all the passwords. <laughs> no passwords. An embed password. No, I don't want a pat an embedded password. Require password for participant joining these by phone. No, turn it off. Bypass the password when joining meetings from meeting list. Sure, bypass it. So that's it. So all I did was click off everything that said password. So that way participants can just jump in the meeting without having to add a password. Uh, so it's one less hoop for them to join. Unless you are concerned with security, then you want to leave that password and put a fun password. Like don't make it five, six, oh, it, you know, there, it gives you a number, make it dance or make it black or make it pink or I don't know, make it a fun password, something that you can remember and that your participants can remember as well. Uh, numbers are hard for that. Okay, now we're going to go move to the holding room. So we scroll down. So all we did was, all I did was scroll down until this one that says waiting room. And really I'm just checking to see which one of these things is on. Uh, and that's where I found the holding room. So attendees can join a meeting until a host admits them individually from the waiting room. This can be a hassle if you're wanting to dance and then you have to come in, add people in, and then do a routine, and then come in, add those people who came in late. It can be a hassle and a disturbance for your class. So if you don't want the waiting room, all you do is click and click this. Cool. And that's it. So let's schedule a meeting. Okay, so let's say you scheduled a meeting and you want to verify if there's a waiting room and the password thing and that, that you want to bypass. So you go to meetings. See, I already have a recurrent one, so I'm going to click on it. Go to the bottom where it says edit this meeting. You are editing a recurrent one. Do I want to edit just this one or all of them? I'm going to say all of them, right? So now I go to the password. See, I had it, it prompted me to do a password, but I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want a password. So unclick it. And then where it says enable waiting room, it defaulted to that this weekend. So I can just unclick it and then click save. Yay, we bypassed it, yay. And same thing when you schedule a meeting, it's going to automatically do that. See, require meeting password. If you wanted to change the password to something more easier to remember, you would just click dance here or whichever your password is if you did want it. But make sure to unclick it if you don't want it. And if you don't want the waiting room, then just unclick here and then save. That's it. So smash that like button if you found that helpful and uh, let me know how it goes. We're all learning as we go 
And uh, yeah, if you want to go to the stage, uh, come on over to the stage. I'd be happy to let you in. See you on the next one. Stay happy. Stay safe. Keep on dancing. See you on the next one. Bye.